more points per game this season. Meanwhile, Tennessee led by the dynamic scoring duo of Renaya Davis and Ray Burrell as Tennessee wins the tip. As well as Middle Tennessee head coach Rick Insel mentioned to us the contrast of styles between these two teams. Inside the layup is good in Tennessee. Burrell using the key screen. The little pull-up jumper is good. Middle Tennessee might have had an opportunity in transition that they pumped the brakes on. Instead, Burrell can't rim it in. The offensive board and put back. Finish, though, and Whitson collects it for Middle Tennessee. Anastasia Hayes gets her first bucket to drop. The side. Hayes, get one to drop here, Rebecca. Leads the nation in free throws attempt and made on the season. Conference USA Player of the Year. And that jumper is good from Chris Kittua, showing some range. Taking the shots that they want to get, getting to the offensive glass. The three is good. Anastasia Hayes. The three-point line. Always a bonus when she can hit from deep. Burrell turns the corner and lays it in. Ray Burrell using the size and strength. And a little speed as well. The NCAA tournament was good for her as Walker finds the trailer. The runner is good from Renaya Davis. A nice response here from Tennis. For the Lady Raiders and then Renaya Davis getting it done in transition as well. Tennessee. And he's the only member of Middle Tennessee who has played in an NCAA tournament game. As Davis calmly and coolly knocks down the jumper. The Coast couldn't quite finish. On the attack, Hayes lays it in. Aislinn Hayes. D on the interior there to deny Key a chance here for Middle Tennessee. Anastasia, quick burst and hopping to the hoop. Middle Tennessee plays a spread offense, so Key was out of the lane defending on the perimeter as she scores there. What a gorgeous setup from Jordan Horston. Preparing for the game that she hadn't really thought about the big picture, but. Enough people have asked her now about getting to coach her alma mater, Tennessee, in the NCAA tournament. Orson unable to hit the chance here for Middle Tennessee, down just five. Cage in the corner, cut it! On a three! What they do so well. A 9-2 Middle Tennessee run. Davis will fire. Good response there from Renaya Davis at her best when she's scoring in a variety of ways, getting to the offensive glass. So the great thing is we don't have to run plays for her. As Hayes able to finish between two. Follow won't go. Another chance here. Horston has been a factor since coming off the bench for Tennessee. Well, Tennessee wants it. Aislinn Hayes gets to the cup and lays it in. Hi, Maria. Coach started the second quarter. And Middle Tennessee has found its footing after a tough start during this one as it's turned over by Horston. Taken back, though, by Tennessee. Good effort on the ground, and it leads to a bucket for the Lady Vaughn. Because Kidawa, the 6'4 post player, had to come out on the perimeter to defend, and Middle Tennessee was able to go right by her. This time she sits back, and instead they hit the three. Hit the fire, and hit from three. Winston buries it from downtown. Not however she could, and gave her the ball so that she could. Walker, the Euro step across her body beautifully. Not allowed dribble penetration inside. They simply couldn't do it in their man-to-man -man defense with their bigs. Aislinn Hayes buries a three to hit their attempts. That three from Walker won't go. The putback is good. Renaya Davis there for the follow. 11 points for Davis in this first half. And it's a three in the weak side board to Horston. Horston to the cutting Davis. Beautiful finds for two. Four points, four assists, four rebounds in ten minutes off the bench for Horston. The floater rims in. 
What's the foul? Catch, fire? No. Rebound, Horston. Horston has been dropping dimes in his first half. Another one there, and the roll in. Anastasia Hayes, what a quick first step. Had separation. Instead finds Winston on a three. Anastasia Hayes working into Davis. Makes it in. 16 points for Anastasia Hayes. Horston, another nice look. On the reverse, the layup is good for Ray Burrell. Hayes cutting through the lane, gets denied emphatically by Keith. It springs Burrell all the way in. She's fouled in the country when it comes to lowest turnover rate. Enforcing on that last possession, it was a dead ball turnover. Maya <laughs> Davis hits the shot with somebody right in her face. We'll back it out. Lob inside, Key lays it in on the delivery. And also their sister, who played at Notre Dame 13 games this year, but has gone into the transfer portal. Alacia is also here. This is a basketball family. Four sister hoopers. I like that sister-sister act. To that of the men, and that is a good conversation that we need to keep having moving forward. Without question, Holly, it's clear to the NCAA. A 49-41 Tennessee lead in his first round matchup. Cage, that is a big three for Middle Tennessee. In the second half by Middle Tennessee, Tennessee's defense has been much better here in the third quarter. Chris Kittle on another offensive rebound, gobbled it up and put it back. Oh, hey now. Air balls the three. Here comes Burrell. Gets it to drop Ray Burrell in transition. One of the best post players in the women's college game. Watch out for Baylor. Tennessee, meanwhile, with their largest lead of the game, and it just grew. That three is short from Whitson. Burrell, nice touch feed to Key, who definitely lays it in. Pick up a foul, pick it up because you're going strong against a smaller defender. A 14-0 edge in the paint in the second half for Tennessee is finally... A shot or a pass, get that out of here. Corner three is good. Ends up in a three. Hayes wanted a whistle, didn't get it. Burrell, two on one. Burrell lays it in. Beautiful move. Pretty incredible company for Davis and Burrell. Tennessee, a plus 18 in paint points, now a plus 60. 23 on the glass in this game for Tennessee. And the comeback for Middle Tennessee is going to have to start on the defensive end of the floor. Darby buries the three. It's a 14-point Tennessee lead. Winner of this game will face the winner of Michigan and Florida Gulf Coast. That's what most teams are doing in their race. Davis all the way in, lays it home, plus the foul. This says she is nose first. And she's just an incredible rebounder for her size. She has shown it in this first round matchup as Key finishes. Turning the corner, the layup is good. Ray Burrell. Rounding is a big part of the story. They're plus 12 on the season on the glass today. Plus 28. They have 28 more rebounds than Middle Tennessee. Middle Tennessee, Ryan, in the first half had 18 points in the paint. Off of things like this, the dribble penetration inside, but for the most part in the second half. Fast break points. You just saw the disparity pop up as well in the second half. Chris Kittleman finishes. Good hands. Burrell on the steal. Finding Horston for the finish in Tennessee. And this is exactly what you want in your first round matchup if you're Tennessee. In terms of everybody is going to leave this game with a tremendous amount of confidence. They've had contributions on the offensive end for multiple players in terms of their ability to... And a dramatic advantage on the glass for Tennessee. A 54-21 to 21 edge. As Aislinn Hayes gets the three to rim in. Tied at 39 at the half. Tennessee out.
outscores Middle Tennessee State 48-23 in the second half. And the Lady Vaughn.